Hi, you might have seen the series how I built my media organ pedals already. And also in the previous uh, videos I have shown how to use the Arduino Mega to generate some uh, sound um, that's played directly to a speaker box. Now we can combine these technologies uh, from uh, generating MIDI notes to uh, creating the actual sound. I will use this Arduino Mega to build a synthesizer. So we can um, use a connector like this. Uh, this is the same that I have used uh, for my MIDI organ pedals. And connect this to uh, any MIDI input device. This can be uh, this MIDI master keyboard, the organ pedals or even the PC. So we can play notes and uh, the synthesizer on this board will generate the sound. The master keyboard has some advantages. We can use here these controls and these knobs to even configure the sound uh, and make it more interesting. So let's start to connect uh, this input to the Arduino Mega and play some notes using this keyboard here. We take this configuration as a starting point. It's the same that we have used for the sampling uh, videos. So the C port is connected to this uh, R2R resistor ladder and there are two transistors that are uh, amplifying the sound which is uh, then connected to the speaker box. So what we need now is um, to handle the input uh, from the MIDI connector. Uh, since the device that we receive the data from um, has an, another power source possibly and uh, maybe other power level and so on, uh, we need to use an optocoupler. There are several circuits on the interwebs that show how to connect the Arduino Mega to the MIDI input. But they are quite complicated and I want a really simple circuit that uh, is using this 4-pin uh, optocouplers that are uh, everywhere. So um, this is the simple circuit that I came up with. It works quite well, so let's just take it and connect this. The positive input is over here. It's um, labeled 4. And the negative is over here. On the other side, I just connect a 10k pull up and this pull down here. And that's all. Now we have just to connect this to RX0 to be able to use it with this uh, MIDI library for the Arduino. Let's check out the code. First of all you will need this MIDI library here. You can install this library by using um, this import library and adding the zip file that you have downloaded. If you create an, a new sketch you can just use include MIDI point H to use the library itself. The library is quite simple. You have the main loop here and you just need to have a MIDI read to read all the messages that you get from the MIDI device. In the setup you can just uh, start monitoring all channels here. Then you can set some callback functions like for the note on message and note off message. I have used this function here. Note on just saves the note number and the velocity. Note off sets the velocity to zero. There is also another way to turn off a note. This is by sending a note on comment with velocity zero. So you have to take care of this. But in this case this works fine. We are also using port C as output for our samples and set the sampling rate to 44 kHz here. Now we have to convert the note number to a frequency. I have calculated this frequency increment table. I take complete 32 bits to represent the position within one wave. This could be a sine wave. How to calculate the frequency from the MIDI note can be taken from this uh, MIDI tuning standard. This is the formula I've also used there. 
but you can just take my code here. So what I am storing here is the velocity for the note that I am playing, the note itself and the phase which is the position within the wave. I have just to increment the phase by the value that I take from this table at position node. So now we are able to play a note, but only one at once. So let's check the timer function, what we write to the output. As you can see, this is the simple way how to increment the position within the wave. For the sample, I just take the higher 8 bits of the position here. So the waveform is shaped like a sawtooth. And then as amplitude, I take the velocity. The velocity is between 0 and 127, so it just uses the 7 bits. To get the 8 bit as a result, I just shift this again by 7 bits to the right. And this is the final sample that we just played to the pod C. So let's check out how it sounds. So we can play a note with uh, different velocities, but we can't play two at once. Uh, it will just play the last one. Let's check out how the waveform looks like. That's all for today. If you want to see how we develop this to a sophisticated synthesizer, then subscribe and tune in again. Bye!